Hey, it's Mike Wickett vlogging again on SportsRadio1250.com. A jam-packed Doug and Mike, no Doug, so it's going to be a jam-packed vlog here at SportsRadio1250.com, SportsRadio1250 WSSP. Doug was out playing golf at Whistling Straits, so I hit on a number of things today. The Brewers are like a banged-up automobile right now. The flat tire, a leak in oil, maybe a cracked windshield, and the muffler fell off. A couple of little things that you can easily fix. Where do you start? Hear that discussion in the uh, audio vault here at SportsRadio1250.com. Also talked a lot about the Packers today. Despite two contract renegotiations in the past four years, Donald Driver is holding out during the OTAs because he wants more money. And Nick Collins, who has now had one very good year in the NFL, uh, is holding out as well, despite getting a 600% pay increase from 2008 to 2009. And we all take it with a grain of salt because, of course, it is just the OTAs. Aaron Campman not happy, it seems, as he has now moved to the outside linebacker spot. And you can't blame the guy because he moves during a contract year, and if his numbers aren't great, he's not going to get paid after his final season during this contract with the Green Bay Packers. And how about Carlos Zambrano? Gets a six-game suspension for his baby-like, child-like, jackass tirade. What's a six-game suspension for a pitcher? It's only one game. It's a double standard. If Ryan Braun starts a fight, he's gone for 25 games. If Prince Fielder goes after Zambrano, Prince Fielder's out for 25 games. The MLB needs to change that rule, and if a pitcher gets tossed and gets suspended, it should be for a number of days, so that pitcher has to miss three, four, five starts, whatever the case may be. And speaking of Ryan Braun, here's what Ryan Braun does on a game day. You would think he'd be focusing on maybe taking some BP. Braun is good enough to just post on Facebook. Take a look at this. Let's just take a look here at the Facebook page, and there's Ryan Braun on my Facebook page, a friend of Ryan Braun's, and he is... Promoting his night tonight at Decibel, launching his new clothing line. That was about 25 minutes ago. It's 11.15 right now on a Friday. All right, let me just scroll down real quick. There's Ryan Braun posting a headline about himself hitting a home run, and the Brewers beat the Chicago Cubs. That was about 10 minutes before that previous one. And one more about Ryan Braun as we scroll on down here, about he and J.J. Hardy standing out amongst... Uh, the National League All-Star votes. And that one happened eight minutes before that last one. Ryan Braun posting three times in a matter of about ten minutes on a Friday on a game day. Braun, he can do, I guess, whatever he wants. And he's got his new clothing line coming out to party in downtown Milwaukee on the east side on Friday night. That's tonight. So for the weekend, enjoy it. Here's to the Brewers sweeping the Reds. Here's to the Nuggets. Here's Brett Andrews from KISS FM. What's going on here? Here's to the Nuggets forcing and winning a game Nuggets. number seven. Here's to the Magic taking out the Cleveland LeBrons. Yep. And also here's to the Detroit Red, Red Wings getting game one of the six they're going to take to beat the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins coming up on Saturday night. I'm going to close this out. Follow me on Twitter. Find me on Facebook. And don't forget you miss anything. Tweet. Check it out in the audio vault. Have a good weekend. Yay! Duncan Mike Show!